Hey guys, it's Heather here, and today I'm bringing you the ultimate guide to Builder Hall 3. We're gonna talk about upgrade plans, attacking your base designs, and what to look out for. So I'm gonna be covering a lot, and I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible, so you may have to watch this video a couple times to make sure you catch everything. So the number one thing you wanna do with Builder Hall 3 is get your third army camp. The moment you get that third army camp, it puts you at a massive advantage to everybody you're attacking. This is more important than getting any of your defenses. It's more important than the firecrackers, the Tesla, the crusher. This is more important than even upgrading your troops. So this is your number Number one priority, the first thing you're going to do is get that third army camp. So this means that all the gold that you're getting is going to go to getting your elixir storage and then upgrading it to level two. You have to have a level two elixir storage to hold 180,000 elixir to get that third army camp. Don't worry about using your gold for anything but the storage and then save your elixir for that camp. Now, if you're gonna go over your max on your gold and your elixir as you're battling, then buy things like your traps and get your mine and pump upgraded and buy your walls. The walls are going to become really important for your defense. Don't upgrade anything from a level one other than your elixir storage level two and your gold mine and your elixir pump if you need to. That's really nice to have that gold mine and elixir pump upgrading because they actually produce a lot more than the little mine and elixir pump that they look like. So if you need to spend some gold and elixir so you can keep battling while you're trying to get the other one caught up, work on those first things that aren't as expensive just so you can get that third army camp camp faster. Once you have everything, you have your third army camp, you have all your walls and your traps, then go ahead and get the Tesla and then the firecrackers and then finally the crusher. And be sure you don't battle when your defenses are upgrading or when you've just purchased one because without that defense, it's still being counted against you as having the defense, but you're not getting the benefit from it. So you're putting yourself at a big risk to start losing trophies. Now, when it comes to your offense, to your troop upgrades, pick one troop to upgrade and then max it out. Don't upgrade your barracks to get giants and minions when you're not even gonna use them because they're such a low level. So upgrade your lab and then max out your archers first. I wouldn't even do anything with maxing your barbarians at Builder Hall 3 until you've ran out of things to upgrade. I've just found that archers are working really well for me on just about any kind of base design that's being thrown at me for Builder Hall 3. And so I got my archers upgraded to level six and I still haven't even upgraded my barracks to get minions. So archers have just worked really well for me. So that's the troop that I suggest that you use. And then once you have your archers maxed out, you know, go ahead and start working on the other troops too. So all I had was just my level one archer tower, level one cannon and level one double cannon from Builder Hall 2. And I was still winning defenses. I got up to over 900 trophies before I even dropped the extra defenses. And I know I could have gone higher. I just had gold to spend. So it was worth it to start getting my Tesla and firecrackers. And now I'm over 1150 trophies and I just finally got my crusher. What I'm finding with the trophy pushing and the battling is I seem to be matched up not only against people who are my same trophy level, but people who are pretty much my equal as well. So that's really cool too. And something else to keep in mind is if you start building these defenses, you will probably get matched up against other people that have those defenses too, but likely they'll have some of the other cheaper stuff like more walls and traps, and that could be the difference between a win and a loss. So wall pieces are going to be really important because that's what's going to allow you to protect your defenses. If you lose all your defenses, you've lost the battle. So you need to spread those defenses out, but you still need to have them protected so they can't be overpowered and picked off. At Builder Hall 3, you wanna be sure that you're protecting your Builder Hall. You wanna make sure that they can't just take that out and you give up that star with them just using some archers. They could take out your Builder Hall, take out some you know cheap buildings around the outside, and all of a sudden they have two stars and that could be enough to defeat you. I mean, that's typically how I'm battling. That's typically how I'm taking people out. So make sure you protect both your defenses and your builder hall. If you do that, you can still win a lot of battles if you just make sure that you get their builder hall. If yours is protected enough that they're going to have a really tough time getting to it, but you're able to get to their builder hall, you're going to win the battle. If you take out their builder hall and you're using archers, especially if you have three army camps of archers, you should be able to get two stars every time. And 
And that should be your goal when you're attacking to secure the win. So when you're attacking and if you're using all archers, what you're going to want to do is snipe and take out any unprotected buildings. This means you're gonna to have to have a pretty good idea on what the defensive ranges are for especially the archer tower, both in its long range and fast range mode, and as well as the double cannon and the cannon. So you're gonna use your archers to take out any unprotected buildings. Once they're able to do that, as those buildings are starting to go down, you're going to start dropping more archers to create a funnel to get your main pack of archers in to take out the builder hall. Along with that, make sure you're taking out any defenses that are on the perimeter that the archers can snipe over the wall, if that means the defense is going to be in range of your archers that are attacking the builder hall. So take out any defenses that could hinder you from being able to take out the builder hall with other archers. And don't ever drop your archers in a pack. I kind of do that. I drop a pack of maybe like three or four to take out a building. Try and spread them out a little bit or just drop one at a time to check to see if there's a mine. So you don't drop a huge pack of them and then lose them all to a mine. Your defense is the key to winning battles. If you have a bad defense, you're, it doesn't matter how great you're attacking, you are going to lose the majority of the time. So if you're in a slump and you're like, I just can't push higher. I'm just facing much tougher bases. They're beating me every time. I'm stuck. I'm at you know, 500 trophies and I can't go any higher. The reason is because your base design needs to be improved. So I got the base that I've been using from one of my Twitter followers. I'll link to his Twitter in the description down below. And I'm gonna call this base the Builder Hall Open Cross Base. And it has been working extremely well for me. It's really difficult for me to lose. I've shared it out to some other Twitter followers and they're having huge success with it. So if you're struggling right now with your defense on your Builder Hall 3, this is a great base for you to copy and then you can modify it as you go along. I also got a lot of other great bases from other Twitter followers that I've been retweeting out. So if you have a great base and you want to share it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Clash Tutor and then tweet me your base as well as your battle log and I'll retweet those out for you guys. And be, you know, if you're looking for base designs, be sure to follow me there because that's where I'm going to be retweeting them. So I started using this base before I ever had firecrackers or the crusher and you can use this base as soon as you have the wall pieces and the traps and then just go ahead and add in the defenses as you get them. So so for example, um, I didn't have firecrackers, so I just had the double cannon moved over to take up that space. Once I got the firecrackers, I moved the double cannon back over, put the firecrackers there. I just recently got um, the crusher, so now I took um, where the gold mine was and I moved it to the outside and then put the crusher there instead. So you can adapt this base and just fill it out as you get the defenses. So let's go ahead and look at this open cross base design and talk about why this base is working so well. Um, the first attack that I had against this base, they dropped minions right against the archer tower and they got a big fat zero on that attack. So I think placing those mines together and setting them to air and then placing them where it's most likely for the attacker to place their minions and you're going to wipe them out. The key design to this base is having really good spacing on the the defenses, having the builder hut well protected so it can't be sniped, and then having those anti-giant push traps and spring traps in the center to keep them away from taking out your key defenses to defend the base. This base is open on both sides, so it doesn't matter where they drop a giant. The giant's going to want to funnel into the center to take out those defenses. So on the one side, they're going to be met with a crusher. On the other side, they'll likely take out your cannon, but then they're going to be pushed out and sprung, and they're going have a really difficult time being able to take out any of the key defenses which are the tesla the archer tower and the double cannon all right guys i think that's going to wrap it up for my ultimate guide to builder hall 3 if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment down below and i'll try to address those in a future video also be sure to follow me on twitter at clash tutor i do a much better job at keeping up on tweets than i do on my youtube comments sorry about that so if you have any tips for builder hall 3 have any questions be sure to tweet them at me so guys if you like this video be sure to drop it a like and if you love it, be sure to subscribe to me, hit that bell so you can get notifications of when I drop another video talking about all the new stuff with Clash of Clans. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.